Okay, how to beat Skarmouche. So, we're going to be using Amber, because Amber is arguably one of the best units for this fight. Um, this is mostly because of one of the phases later on, where you will be glad that you brought her. Um, you could use a different archer, just not Electro. We're going to be using Dendro Traveler, because I think he's funny. And then Barbara is here, because Hydro is good with Dendro. And Shangling is the majority of our damage. Uh, as you can see, her gear is pretty good, and the reason for that is because you want to have enough damage, okay? I'll explain why later, but anyways, let's get into the fight. Okay, so Skaramouche is a little bit of a different fight. This is primarily because of the fact that you're going to be interacting with the mechanics more than you are going to be doing damage outside of the designated damage phase, okay? So... The most important thing to remember is that you want to hit both of the Electro platforms within a decently short amount of time, otherwise it will be wasted. Also normally the boss will start with um, three tornadoes rather than this Electro bombardment, but it doesn't really matter. So it takes two crystals to interact with the platform, you want to interact with both of them. After you interact with the first one, he'll become semi-shut down and start spawning crystals like this. All you need to do is just dodge the uh, little areas. And there we go, we get the first shutdown. So, you want to kill this boss in the first shutdown. If you do not, bad things will happen to you and I will explain why later. But for now, let's just go ahead and do some DPS. And then we can go ahead and start talking about second phase. So, phase two is pretty interesting. Phase two is, if you've already done the story, you know how it works. You're going to grab crystals, and then you're going to swap to your giant big ball shoot mode. And you're going to shoot the giant ball until it breaks his shield. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to grab three crystals, it takes three of them. And you can go ahead and break these, by the way. That one's a Hydra one, so it's weak to Dendro. And all you want to do is you just want to stay very, very far away from him, because he has massive AoEs. You can jump over that ring when he slams the ground. And that's pretty much it. You just want to wait until he is available to be shot at, because you can miss with these big balls. It is very possible to miss, and you will be very sad when you miss, so please be careful. So these giant AoEs are mainly the reason why we don't want to stay anywhere near him. And it's also not like we get much benefit for staying near him. So it's just better to not put yourself in needless danger. Um, anyways, he has this really intimidating move, which um, doesn't actually do a whole lot. It just kind of chases you, and you can just kind of walk away from it. Now, what you could do is you could just wait seven years for our little buddy to shoot him to death. But unfortunately, um, we don't really don't we don't really have the time for that. So we're just going to grab crystals anyways, and we're going to fire the big ball. So now we come to pre-damage phase. So pre-damage phase is the reason why we bring Amber because Amber is fantastic for this because he spawns four drones. So these four drones have electro shielding. This is why you cannot bring an electro uh, ranged unit for this because it just won't work. Um, and basically, you want to kill all of these drones, so you can teleport to them. And uh, once you teleport to them, you will have the big ball that you need in order to kill him. You need to do this quickly, by the way. Very, very quickly, otherwise he will nuke the field, and you will get an achievement for dying to him. But anyways, here is the damage phase, and that's it. Um, even if you do not kill him in this damage phase, it's just the same part over and over again. So it's just until he's dead. So there's not a whole lot to really worry about. Anyways, that was pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and explain why you want to kill him in one phase now. Okay, so the reason why you want to kill him in one DPS phase is specifically because of one move. So normally, prior to the first DPS phase, everything is, a pre is pretty... It's pretty consistent, okay? You can always get a decent amount of energy just to get the first shutdown. However, after the first shutdown, things are a little bit hard to come by because the platforms go on cooldown and a whole bunch of other stuff happens, and he also has the possibility of using a specific move that requires the usage of the um, Onomo uh, platform, which will spawn a gust, which will allow you to glide upwards and avoid the death floor that it spawns. Now, this thing over here 
that it's going to do fairly soon. Here. Uh, there we go. This is not what I'm talking about. This is similar to electrohypostasis, and you can just dash straight through these beams. So you don't really have to worry about a whole lot. This thing will also spawn a big shiny crystal, which gives you full energy in one. Now, the other thing is, this boss will spawn uh, ice floor and fire floor, which you can get rid of with the uh, pyro platform and the cryo platform, respectively. So right here, he's going to spawn a cryo floor. And we can just go ahead and navigate to the pyro floor to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and just interact with this platform. And so here we have the pyro floor. We can go ahead and grab this and interact with this one. Get rid of it. Now, always keep in mind, you want to have enough energy. Okay, assume you do not kill him in the first phase. You want to have enough energy to be able to interact with the um, Onimo platform. But if you're dumb like me, you just wasted it. And now you have to eat all of this damage. Anyways, good luck.